Hello and welcome to the Adam Friedland Show podcast. The date today, what is it? The 2nd of August. What a day. 2023. Nicholas, how are you? I'm good. Um, we got a couple stressed, I guess. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot going on. Um, yeah. But, you know, you get hit with these periods in your life where you got to just... Uh, Everything's trying to tear you down, and you gotta uh-huh. just. Uh, I'm. I'm very. The I'm, haters. No, not haters. It's just sort of bad luck. But I'm. I'm very grateful that uh, I kind of hit my limit with drinking in May. Thank and God. Then I, and then I got. If, I got my apartment cleaned up, and I've got. I'm back in the gym somewhat regularly, because I don't know if I would have had the uh, wherewithal to. Uh, to if I was only. If let's say I only had a week sober, and then I had the stuff to deal with. Yes, exactly. Um, but no, I'm good. I'm just sort of escaping mentally into uh, ancient Babylon. Uh huh. What's um, going on with that? Oh uh, no, this is still this is something else. This is um, uh, oral history of the Garfield comic strip. Oh huh. yeah. Was there like uh, any anything unexpected? Uh, those guys would party. Back oh yeah. Then. yeah, they used to party. You think old SNL was crazy? And when yeah. I say those guys, I just mean um, Jim Davis by himself. Uh, he did with the characters in his head. He would sit around his apartment doing cocaine all day long, being like, "John, you son of a bitch." <laughs> Arbuckle. Yeah. Arbuckle. He would put a lamp shape on his head. A lamp shade on his head while he's a lamp shape. <laughs> I'm, yeah. having, I'm having a stroke. He anyway. actually, he came up with the term party for one, but yeah. it was just when he was in his apartment. Yeah, party yeah. for one, and then he would shit himself and go, make that two. <laughs> say hello to my little friend. That's it's, what I say every time I, sh- I shit myself. Yeah. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> and you, they're like, did you shit yourself? And yeah. I'm like, yes. Two tickets to Barbie, please. <laughs> one for me and one for my turd. Uh, congratulations to Barbie. Biggest sitting opening in, weekend. Sitting for, in the movie theater. Somebody comes in. It's packed. They're like, is that seat available? I'm like, I'm sorry, but my turd is sitting here. <laughs> He's my best friend. Can you move? Can you not have... Oh, well, what? So I can't buy a ticket for a piece of feces that came out of my body. I have a ticket for the turd. He's not going to talk. Yeah. And he didn't bring in outside food, just ma'am. Go- just Google. I know what's in that bag. Yeah. I'm going to start swallowing googly eyes and see if I get any funny characters to come about in the toilet <laughs> <laughs> the next week. Let's see what the cast and crew are up to this week in the old... <laughs> yeah, my shit's like a sitcom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah we got Kramer. We got <laughs> jo- oh, here comes George. Jerry! George, you're crazy. Oh, it's a big boy. It must be Newman. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's what's going on. Special delivery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, just a lot of tedious bullshit that pulls us away. A lot from, of awful bullshit. Also, guys, pulls, if you pulls listen... Me, pulls me away from, from doing the work that we want to do, which is the Adam Friedland Show. Correct. Um, there's a couple of things to plug. We have a big interview tomorrow, mm-hmm. and then that'll be four now in the can. <laughs> yes. Yeah, four, yeah. four interviews in the can, and then... And tomorrow is a... Yeah. Sort of. L- legend. Yeah, definitely. It's a fucking legend. It's definitely the coolest. It's the coolest. Get, but uh, yeah. we need. We You'll need, see it in six to 12 months. We need, yeah. yeah. We Special need, delivery. We need Dua Leap on the show. And we need to navigate these issues of, of hiring people while uh, these strikes are going on. Yeah. But, um, um, but also, if you listen to the podcast on Spotify, I just want to clarify that it is an issue with our new hosting service. Oh, yeah. It's going to be cleared thing. up. We're not, we haven't been taken down. We haven't been shadow banned. As you've noticed, probably there are significantly less advertisements on the Adam Friedland show than there were on Come Town. And the reason for that is we used to pre record Come Town in the winter, right? Yeah. We would take those weeks off, and then I would spend those weeks negotiating with advertisers for the entire year and fill out the whole schedule. But we were running on this, so I, I put it off and said, I'll get it started in the beginning of the year. And, um, then it got started in the beginning of the year, but certain there's ad spend is down for this year anyway, so they're wanting to see like numbers, and I don't want to get into the mm-hmm. business of because previously we were telling advertisers insane numbers. Come down towards the end is getting about a quarter million downloads. Yeah. but uh, uh, this show, 
the combined, I mean, you can see, you can see what the YouTube numbers are, double that, and that's half the people listen on audio. And, but anyways, point is, is we had to switch podcast hosts. We were leaving Blueberry, who was very, they were helpful. That was probably very good. Shout out the Mike at Blueberry, who is also the, the voice of their, um, he's like, so they have, then you call in, you know, you get like an automated prompt thing. It's that guy's voice. It's just him. So it's like, it's like, if you need uh, technical support, press one. For customer service, press two. And then the, I, I think no matter what number you press, it's like, hey, this is Mike. <laughs> just get him. It's a one man. There's man. another guy, Dave. I've talked to once or twice, but I've, but I've had to call Mike? for different issues. I call for billing and technical stuff, and almost every time, it's always just that you go through a prompt. It's his voice, <laughs> and then you select the number, and then he goes, hey, this is Mike. <laughs> you just get him. <laughs> it's like when Kramer has the movie phone. Yeah, yeah. But they were they were good to us. But we have switched to Audio Boom, and in migrating over to Audio Boom, uh, I guess there was something on Blueberry's back end. You just press one button to push the podcast to shout out to Mike, He's Spotify, doing a great job. or whatever. Yeah, that's how that works. It's very simple. But with Audio Boom, I guess I have to do it manually. But I don't have any. I don't have an account with Spotify or any way to log in or do any of that. So, so this will be rectified shortly. Do not worry. Uh, Rina Sawagama so has not taken us off of that's Spotify. The thing. That's old news. Um, but uh, um, uh, couple other things yes i mean so yeah also ad spend is down across the board i mean everybody's expecting a recession which from what i've read may be averted at this point thanks joe so thank you sleepy thank you bidenomics um, thank you sleepy mm -hmm. uh washington is really bad at puns and so is the media surrounding them there's been a wild disrespect for puns since, I think since mansplaining started, mm -hmm. which I want to get into that in a second. Oh, let's, let's is, go. Is the last decade coming full circle, which is the biggest story this week. But um, the Lizzo thing. And, but the... the uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. What, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. No, uh, hopefully yeah, it's been picks up later. But until then, the Adam Friedland Show... Um, we're very excited to be in this position where we can um, make a talk show, which mm -hmm. is very cool, but it is still entirely funded by viewers like you. Yes. So if you subscribe to the Patreon, you get an additional podcast episode once a week, which we are hopefully going to be better at. Um, yes. Uh, which, Onwards and upwards. It's a weird thing because it's like, you know, as, for doing anything, because it like the to do like the podcast, like like riff, it requires, you know, like oh this is fun, right? And so initially it was like oh well let's start doing it at nine thirty. That way yes. we get it out of the way. And initially it was like yeah now it's like it's not hanging over our heads. It's exciting. So the first couple of those are fun. Then it becomes like I gotta be like now we have to do it at nine thirty. Yeah. And then it's like well now it's a now it's an obligation. You gotta just keep moving it throughout the day. Uh -huh. So I think we've decided to come back to our original plan of doing the podcast whenever, <laughs> but doing it in, a, in such a deliberate way as to maximize the returns on uh, our, our ability to actually perform. Yeah. Um, um, so, yeah, if, if, if you check it out, you get an extra podcast episode. If you subscribe at the associate producer or producer level, we'll put your name in the credits on the finished episodes. And if you've seen the Cuomo episode, the Jada Kiss episode, this is a real television show now. And we got bigger things coming, and this will go down in history. People say, look what they did. Yes. They, they, could, they did Jack Parr by themselves. Yeah. And your name will be on there. Those whatever. plucky young lads. Unless you put like a slur in there. I think we're going to start asking. Are there a lot of slurs in there? There's a lot of Adam is a fag. I mean, when they... Well, thanks for your yeah, support. Yeah, the executive producer, top one, is Adam is a fag. You know, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like uh, you know, so that's kind that's of... That's creative. Yeah, yeah, there's just no time. It's, there's a lot of work. No, to let him leave it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't care. Um, the other thing, first thing, top thing to plug. I told him I would do it. He called me twice about it and texted me three times. Uh, Mike. No. Um, may, we can get to Mike's plugs in a second, but uh, Gene DiNapoli. Yes. And wants me. Hey, Ginsburg, can you can you see that? 
Yeah, he's got Peter Lemangelo Jr. So we got Peter Lemangelo Jr., <laughs> the fabulous Accords, the Tribunes, and Teresa McLean. No, that is a night you're not going to want to miss. And that is August 4th at 7.30 p.m. <laughs> remember, that. remember, Peter Lemangelo Jr., Wait, you didn't say the where. fabulous <laughs> Accords. Doesn't say where? There's no information on as to where it is. Uh, the Fabulous Accords, <laughs> Teresa McLean, and what was the other one? The the Tribunes, <laughs> the Tribunes, not the Tributes, the Tribunes. So the like, tribunes, the, like the, the newspapers. Yeah, yeah, so the newspapers. <laughs> uh, August fourth, seven thirty p.m. Wait, it does have. <laughs> and it doesn't have a place. No, it does. It says uh, here we go. August fourth in Long Island. Okay. Maybe, maybe you can also interview Peter Lemangelo Jr., which we'd be happy to do. We'd be happy to have him on. We don't have the time right now. Uh, <laughs> www.landmarkonmainstreet.org or call 917-567-5842. That's huge. For tickets. So remember, if you're on Long Island, which is a, 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 a probably, what is that, like a nine million square miles. <laughs> it's a big place. Yeah. If you're anywhere in Long Island. <laughs> it's long. You could be up for, at most, you're driving two hours. And a yeah, two and a half hours. That, yeah. Um, that's, and that's like if you're going Brooklyn to Montauk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At most, you're driving two hours to see this. But if you're anywhere on Long Island. It's probably going to be an hour, and make, 45 minutes. But it, I'll tell you, it'll be worth it. You gotta <laughs> call 917-567-5842 for tickets. <laughs> Is that G's personal number? Uh, I don't know. That's what's in here. Let me see. To call a number for tickets? Uh, it is, in fact, his number. Yes. <laughs> no, <don't. laughs> I tried the chat. I didn't know. He put that in the text. He wrote himself. <laughs> www.landmarkonmainstreet.org or call 917-567-5842 for tickets. Doors open at 630. 630. Virginia Denapoli presents the, the Fabulous Accords. Teresa McLean, the Tribunes, the Tribunes and of course, and Peter, Peter Levangelo Jr. There's no one in, the, in between the age of uh, 19 and 67 years old on this show. The age range for this show, if you're, if you're looking, wondering what the demographic is, it is 8 to 18, and then also the 67 it's gonna be to 105 one. demographic. Give it up. I want to see you guys there. I want to see you guys representing, supporting. Call call for tickets. Check it out. If you're not familiar with Peter Lemangelo Jr., he is uh, he was on America's Got uh, American Idol. American maybe? Idol. Yeah, he has a classic style. His father invented uh, uh, infomercials. Info infomercials. Yeah. Basically, he invented infomercials. Yes. But, it, but he invented it by he self produced an album, and then marketed his album through infomercials. So he basically bootstrapped this this career. As a crooner in the 1970s, and, Peter, and we're entrepreneurs, we can appreciate that. Peter Lemangelo Jr. is following in his footsteps as a lounge singer. Um, this show was originally supposed to be at the Copacabana, but uh, it was moved to Long Island. It's moved to Long Island because they're doing uh, Latin Night. <coughs> That's what Gene told me. He said, "Yeah, they got Latin stuff." <laughs> yeah, which that stuff goes off. Yeah, that's, they sell yeah. a lot of tickets. That's what happened to Wiseacres in Tyson's Corner. It became a Latin night Yeah, place. they got rid of the comedy club, and they're like, we're just going to have fucking Mexican people dance here. Oh, those places are packed. Yeah. Yeah. They love... It's they, funny. This is how, like, racist I am. I imagine that, and what I, I see a disco ball and then free chips and salsa. <laughs> that's what I picture in my head. That's what they do for fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it sounds great to me. It sounds like a lot of fun. I'm that does sound fun. Shitting like on the event, but I'm also making up with the event. Yeah, in my head. that they stand in a room with a disco ball eating chips. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I. That's what I think it is. And then finally, hey pal, you get my text about Peter Lemangelo Jr. Okay, so we and got that out there. Also, Mike Racine wants you guys to know he'll be in Rochester, I believe. Is Mike that right? Be, yes, Mike will be in Rochester probably. And I then think finally. Um, um, August 5th, comedy at Carlson Microscene. Go see our buddy. And then finally, this weekend, Chicago, Illinois, Nick Mullen. Uh, yeah, I'll be in Chicago. Sorry, I just got even more bad news from the accountant. Oh, no. No, it's all right. It's fine. Not bad. Uh, well, it's just uh, like. We're broke. We're, out, we're going out of business. 
the the let's say let's Sell say the stage. there is there is no such thing as compliance. It doesn't actually exist. You can do your best and listen to people. You pay people to make sure you're in compliance, and then no matter what, they fuck it up. Yes. Um, so there's that. Yes, I'll be in Chicago this Friday and Saturday. Four quick shows at the Chicago Improv in Schaumburg with uh, Kyle. And now, Kyle Scanlon, that's why I keep thinking oh, of Oh, yeah, name the of, old Lincoln log. Yeah, Felix's friend, who's a different Kyle, and his name would just pop into my head. Kyle Scanlon, Dan Drees. And that'll be a lot of fun. Just two, two, two <laughs> nights real quick, in and out. I, I miss, I've, I've been doing full weekends, and I forgot how, how much easier it is just the Friday, Saturday. Friday, Saturday's nice. Yeah. yeah. At least, a little in and out. Yeah, in and out real quick, get bing, bang, boom, get it over with, and then, I will be in Denver. I think that might be sold out now at this point. Let's go. 17th through the 19th, I will be taping, trying to, trying to chase this gravy train of self-produced YouTube stuff that everyone else is doing, and then. Do you have to wear the same clothes every night on the show? I kind of do that anyways. For continuity. Yeah. I will now. My suitcase is filled with like the Switch, the PlayStation. So you, my weights, you know. So you don't have room for underwear. Yeah, no clothes, no toothbrush. I just bring weights and video games. Mm -hmm. But um, um, uh, yeah, Denver. The big thing, I will be at the Wilbur Theater in Chicago in September. They it was the first Boston. show. Boston. Boston. What did I say? Chicago. It will be in September. I will be in Boston at the Wilbur Theater. They added a second show because the first show sold out quickly, and now the second show is only about half sold and that is a month out. So please come out to that. There are only maybe 6,000 tickets left. Yeah, it's a big place. And yeah, I think it's only, it's like a thousand seater. It's There's, big though. Yeah, but so come out to that, bring your friends. Uh, and then, and then I'll, 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 I'm pretty much wrapped up on the road. I got a couple more dates, but um, hopefully I can get this special done. Probably close off the road dates, drop the thing, not do any of this material anymore, spend two weeks at the stand bombing until I have a new 45 minutes and then go. It takes two weeks for 45 minutes? If you're doing four spots a night, yeah. I mean, if you're especially good. bouncing up upstairs and downstairs because it's like, that's that's why I can't, I can't come up with new shit on the road because it's all like podcast guys will be supportive no matter what. Yeah. So you're like, did you see this Lizzo thing? And then they'll just laugh. Whereas if, uh, if it you're- It is funny. If it you're is the, funny, this Lizzo If thing. you're the 15th comic at a night to go up at the stand, no one knows who you are. You're like, so this Lizzo thing, the audience is gonna be like, okay, what are, yeah. you, what are you going to say about it? Uh -huh. So it makes it, it like, you know, forces you to, also, guys, August 24th to the 26th, I'm in Washington, D.C., the Comedy Loft. And big one, guys, New York City, New York, November 8th, 2023. Nick and I will both be at Town Hall as part of the New York Comedy Festival. They wanted us to mention that on the show. Thank you. And that's the show, guys. Thanks a lot. We got our plugs out. Yeah. Nice 45 minutes of plugs. That was a lot of plugs. Ginsburg, what are we at time-wise so I can start my watch? Wow, Jesus Christ. Well, we did that John Ar Arbuckle taking your turn to the movie thing. I guess, yeah. That was that was a good... That was a lot of plugs. That was a good 30 seconds. Hopefully once... That's the other thing, too, is like we forget. It's like, you know, you think, oh, well... Well, like, we told them the inner mechanisms of our, our hosting service. They're, be, they're definitely... They're, it can be difficult to get through an episode of the Adam Friedland Show podcast. But, you know, with Cometown, it's like we always had ads. And then we could turn those into 15 minutes. So the podcast was never actually longer than maybe about 17 minutes. Yeah. And then a lot of and that... And it was magic. A lot of that was Stav just saying woo. Yeah. yeah. And uh, my dick is small. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that ate up a lot of time. That was good. Yeah. Um, he's doing well. He see, yeah, it seems like he's doing he's well. In, uh, uh, no, you're talking about Lizzo. No, I was talking about him. Oh. He's in a, a, a Soderbergh web series. You see that? He is. Yeah. Dan Soderberg? Uh, yeah, Dan, so Dan changed his name. Oh, wow. He's like, I'm going Jewish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. Dude. No, I, I thought about like... it, and I was like, what if I was Jewish? What um, if I was me, but Jewish? Um, sorry, I'm just, no, nothing. OK. Well, now it seems like weird that I even mentioned that. Well, we'll take it out. No, Dan no, Soder is Jewish. No, not now. that. The just mentioning. I'm well, just I saying. Think you can convert doing, to Jewish. All I'm saying is he's doing well, and mm. then you're like, oh, yeah. And then it looks like passive aggressive that I said anything. No, I got a text, and it was of bad news, too. From who? From my doctor. 
What do you say? No, I didn't get a text from my doctor. You got a no. text from your girlfriend, and it's like, we're out of coffee, and then it turns She's into a crisis. She's not at home. She don't work. All right, but it's it's some domestic issue that's not like a big deal. It wasn't related. The dog ate more of my period. It was about the dog's blood work. Yeah, that's what I said. The dog's <laughs> job eating period. That was the dog. That was the. <laughs> that's the dog's blood work. The dog got a little bit of blood work done. Yeah. Was it from the vet? Yeah, I have to pay a fucking shit ton of money now. Well, yeah. I Two thousand dollars to get a hematoma drained from the ear. You could have done it yourself. I feel like I just take a needle. Yeah. It's probably safe. They probably boil the needle or something. I could do it. Light it with a. Get a big lighter. You should get a dominatrix to do it. Yeah. They seem you're to like, know what you're, they're you're, doing. You're, you're, yeah. Fuck yeah. Just be like, pretend it's someone's penis. <laughs> pretend it's someone's penis and balls. Yeah. And yeah, just a little a stiletto in my dog's ear. Yeah, instead of a dog's ear. But uh, uh, yeah, but dogs, the blood works fine. The blood, the thyroid is fine, and then the lump is fine. But we have to get the surgery. It's fine. The dog's fine. Yeah, the dog's it's fine. It's a dog. Well, two days ago, you're saying the dog might have cancer. No, doesn't have cancer. Yeah, so that's good. It, it's, so guys, it's a dog. I shouldn't have even taken it to the vet. What is it? What? I'm going to fucking take it to the vet forever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've taken it to the vet one time in eight years. This is the second time. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, that was to get her pussy sealed shut. So she can't have kids mm -hmm. with a, you know. With, with the chihuahua. With, <laughs> it would be very funny. Mm -hmm. It would be very funny if you saw a little guy humping away. Yeah. And her dumb ass. Well, they do that. Sometimes you see a dog and you're like, what is this? And they're like, oh, it's a... Uh, a uh, great Chewane? Yeah. Like, what do you mean? They're like, it's half Chihuahua, half Great Dane. I'm like, how did that happen? Yeah. What do you mean? That sounds like... It's a, a rape. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like... It's a violent rape. It sounds like a mangly type experiment yeah, yeah. that someone committed. It sounds like someone was having a little bit of fun. And so that you could put fucking, a, like, a Scotland Yard dog in your purse. Yeah. Some, like, demented fucking... Uh, so you could solve British mysteries on the go. <laughs> <laughs> Your fucking Chihuahua Great Dane crossbreed. Yeah, it's bizarre. The best is when they mix a corgi with like a, a dog that has the same. It has the same body but a different head. Yeah, but it the has same. The, the head of the do of the other dog. But it's just the legs. All they get from the corgi is the legs. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like a German Shepherd with a like corgi's a, like body. Like a corgi husky. Or yeah, you want it's to very know? funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they have that stupid body. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that, I mean, why does it only work out that way? It would be better if you had a one dog's head on another dog's body. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. Yeah, they're funny. Yeah, Corgi Husky, that's a good combo. Um, golden, Golden Retriever Corgi. It's just the other dog's head. It's very cute. And then the same coat, I think, or something. <laughs> they just get the stupid legs. Corgis are stupid dogs. They're really dumb looking. They're really fucking dumb dogs. My, de my friend's de uh, stepdad was a dickhead, and he used to yell at us for disrespecting his pool table. And he, had, he was a corgi man. Yeah? Yeah. And we'd be like, fuck you, Bob. Yeah, that's always where we look at this fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really stupid. Um, yeah, it'd be like, you're fucking... Di he'd get mad at us for disrespecting the pool table. I guess they were not allowed to have fun in his house. He's a good man. Yeah. Anyway, so let's talk about this Lizzo situation. What do we think? Um, what are we thinking? Okay. Guilty or innocent? You um, decide, America. America decides. I'm sorry, I just got more emails about the RSS thing with Good. Spotify. What I did they had say? To reply to the accountant about this other issue. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. All right. So, uh, so Lizzo's in the news. Some for some reason the accountant, uh, I guess, included. Whatever. It doesn't matter. A bunch more money is owed to the government. From yesterday? Uh, from the situation? For a separate thing. For a different thing. For a different, yeah, reason. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, anyways, yeah, the Lizzo thing. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Oh, culture. Yeah. I can't wait to fucking talk about it. That's just fine. I can't wait. You know, if there's... Because if, if we got to talk about if it. If there's anything I love, it's fucking talking about culture all day long, fucking constantly, every single day. I can't... I Oh, Lizzo's being me too Great. I can't wait to fucking podcast about it. Yeah. We I can't to wait to say something. Yeah. I don't know. Hopefully this is the end. Hopefully this is the goddamn end. This should be the last That one. should end it, right? This, this should be the last This should culture. end it. People aren't going to seriously go home to, what, Thanksgiving dinner and be like, did you hear Lizzo shoved a banana in her fucking employee's <laughs> pussy? You're not, that's done. We're done with it. It should be the last one. Yeah. We need, uh, like, there needs somehow both, like, they need to get both Biden and Trump out of this election. And we need to have the most, like, it just needs to be two boring wonks. Washington needs to go back to being the most boring shit. Just people running. Ezra like, Klein against Matt Iglesias. Yeah, right. Not, not even. Not even. People that don't have Twitter, like, just fucking. Just, yeah. You can keep the same politics. It can be like a psycho fascist guy, but it's got to be like Trey Gowdy and uh, Huma. That would be perfect. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. And no like, personality. Huma, why do you want to be president? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Because I think we need to, you know, I don't know. That would be, I could, yeah. Just so people turn it off. Just turn it off. Just go watch a fucking Barbie movie. Yeah. Go watch a Barbie movie and don't think about whether it's feminism or a critique of feminism. Uh -huh. We need to ban criticism also. It, it, it has to end. Yeah. It's too much of this and crap. And it's this weird combination now where everything is subject. And I feel like it's their fault that Lizzo did this. E everything is, is, <laughs> is, is subject to like cultural criticism. You have to read into fucking everything. We also live in a time where, where media has never been dumber. 90% of entertainment is just fucking mindless garbage. But then you get people like, well, is, is, is the new Wonder Woman movie actually like a Trotskyist? It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? What's it? It's this is just, supposed to be done. Somehow we can't. We have the worst combination they of They decided both. everything is baby movies. Everything's baby movies, but then we also have to think critically about the <laughs> we baby We have to movie. think about it if the baby, what the baby movies mean. Mm -hmm. They're just baby movies. Mm. They're just for babies. Anyways, so this Lizzo thing. All right, let's get into I it. I guess we got to talk about it. Did you hear what the allegations are? Yeah. Fat shaming. Lizzo was fat shaming. They forced one of her backup dancers to eat a banana out of a stripper's pussy. Shocking. There was another one that was a virgin, and she was uh, apparently they talked about it on social media, which I guess is a type of shaming. What do you think about it, Adam? Say something. Say something. The whole world's watching, and they want to know. I feel like your take, good or bad, dumb or smart, it doesn't matter. As long as you fucking say something, they'll click on it, and then hopefully we can sell some ads. Got some. Sell some ads until, until, until the workers get what they want, until we get what, until we get some of that CEO pay, that juicy CEO pay, and then everything will be right, right as rain. Mm. Well, that's why we need to get the actors All back right, to we'll work. All right, we'll focus on Lizzo. I mean, it is very funny to imagine her, like, like girl bossing people while wearing that, like, whatever that, remember that, that pair of pants she With had? With her ass. The Yosemite Sam, like, fucking... <laughs> Just assless chaps she had on. <laughs> this Looney Tunes pants. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine her being like, look, we run a fucking tight ship here. And I don't want any of this tomfoolery. And then she turns around. <laughs> <laughs> just ass. Just, hanging. just big ass. Yeah, just hanging out. Yeah. I just, you know, I just, I was a fan. Mm -hmm. I was a fan. I was first on board. I didn't even know she was fat. I just liked the music. Yeah. You know? I took a DNA test, and I found out that I'm 100% the bitch. Mm-hmm. A bitch. 
Yeah. I found I'm 100% a bitch. Yeah. You know? Is that one of her songs? I think so. Yeah. And you know, I was on board. Oh, but I thought you said you were a little bit country. It was a, no, a little rock and roll. Oh, okay. Yeah. So how are you 100% a bitch if you're a little bit rock and roll? You can be a rock and roll bitch. No, those are two different things. No, you could be a bitch, you could be a lover, you could be a child, child mother. mother. Well, child isn't really specific. You could be a sinner, you could be a saint. That's, I, that was my problem with that song. Yeah. I'm a bitch, I'm a mother, I'm a child, I'm a mother. It's like, well, child, is that can be boy or girl. So maybe you should have spent more time. A daughter. Yeah, you should have said, I'm a daughter, I'm a mother. Yeah. I'm a bitch, I'm a lover. Lover, too. That's not specific to women. Yeah. I guess that song just proves that women can't write music. That, yeah. And that's supposedly what she's like. You know, she's saying I, that I hear I, that song and I'm like, okay, well, what other women are saying they can do something uh -huh. professionally? It's like, I, I know very little about songwriting, but I know that that's wrong. Incorrect. Yeah, I'll tell you something. Kenny Loggins wouldn't have been, wouldn't have been so I, sloppy. I hear that song and I'm like, this, so this is the best female musician in the world. Yeah, they said she was number one. This is the, this is the best one that you mm -hmm. have. And this the, wrong right wrong. away. I listen. I got hmm. the. I went on rap genius. I look at it. And yeah, I, incorrect. Wrong. Yeah. Incorrect. I have my. I write. I have a red. Yeah. A red marker. I ruined my laptop with by writing wrong on yeah. the screen. Well, next yeah. to it. And uh, yeah. it also serves another purpose. That way, if I'm ever caught looking at gay pornography in public, I'm like, I'm. It's. I'm, I'm saying, editing. I'm saying it's bad. I'm saying it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not watching. I'm, uh, I'm crossing <laughs> <it> <laughs> <out>. <laughs> I'm saying that it's bad, so, but, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What were we even talking about? Yeah, Lizzo. Um, I don't know, you know, it's just, it's, I'm just tired. Yeah. I'm just fucking tired. But if you, at, at the start of the Me Too movement in 2014, if you could step, if you could Bill and Ted your way back there, and be like, hey, you want to know how this ends? Lizzo fucking making people eating pussy bananas. I think we would have let Louis keep working. Yeah, and they're like, what do you mean? That <laughs> Lizzo, the world's greatest female musician? Yeah. This has turned her into a monster. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> she was 90 pounds back then. Yeah. It is funny online, though. You see people that are like, see, you can't trust any celebrity. The problem like, is the celebrities. Well, and t statistically, I think most of them are fine. Yeah, you you. It's probably an accurate cross section of just general population. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's not very fair. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. I don't this think. Uh, I don't think. Who, who's the guy from Fargo? What's his name? William H Macy. Uh, he's so, not doing pussy banana. We're not going to find out he has a sex dungeon. No, I don't think we are. No, he's probably no. into like paper mache. No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. I'm just thinking about him committing suicide in Boogie Nights. So his wife is writing that guy's dick in the driveway. Yeah. That poor guy. Women do be doing that, huh? Yeah. Well, whatever. That's the world he got into. Lizzo, here on our show, we don't... I'll look right at the camera. We don't, like... We don't think anyone's story is... is you got to be careful with that. You abuse employees. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. With who? Like you kind of you like abuse people around here. I've seen it. I have my comedy. That's I my know, com but I have to pull them aside and be like, he doesn't mean it. But that's but some of these kids that shoot the show are eight, nine years old. You can't be talking to them like that. Yeah, but that's like I thought everyone's like, oh, that's Adam's thing. No, 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 no. no they were them, like, he's a bitch. He's a lover. He's a child. A lot of them are crying often. You do. Me? I feel bad now. Well, yeah, no. You're I dealing am. with that? That's not I your am. job. Well, it is. I'm the You're producer HR. of the show. Yeah. yeah. I'm the executive producer of the show. I get all the bad news emails about... You've killed stories? Technical issues and, and, uh, and all this accounting stuff. Have you killed stories? Going to press? Uh, about no. toxic workplace? No, no, because I think at this phase, that'll help us. Toxic workplace would be big for us. Yeah. 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 Adam Freeland's pussy bananaing eight-year-olds? Uh-huh. What is Adam Freeland? I've never heard that name before. Yeah. Oh, you mean the racist from Taylor Swift? Mm hmm. <laughs> I think, honestly, I think the whole Lizzo thing is sort of a psyop to, uh, to distract people from the banana discourse of two weeks ago. 
What was that? The argument as to whether or not we would have bananas in our socialist, global socialist utopia. Because there'd be no reason for Latin America to export bananas to no. the United States. So you'd have to give up your bananas. Shut up! Yeah. Shut up! Mm-hmm. Ah! We just want to make a talk show! Yeah. I just want to talk to uh, fucking... I don't even know what the politics people want anymore. It's like Will you have bananas in the fucking communist space planet? We don't have health care. We can't their, go to the doctor! That's what, that's what made all of this popular. Is saying people need health care. An old need, Jew was like, you should go to the doctor. You should be able to go to the doctor. And, and then it's like, now yeah, Lizzo's it's, putting bananas in people's pussies. Yeah, all right. I know. The fucking butterfly effect of this is this. It's, yeah. it's a, what is it? Is it a human centipede or a butterfly effect? It's, it's the combination of the human centipede and a butterfly effect. Mm -hmm. It's just people shitting into each other's mouths and then the shit of the shit being grosser and somehow resulting in these. In these. <laughs> in the writer's strike. I'll tell you over that Lizzo, whatever that they were talking about, there's a lot of beef on that offensive line. I'll tell you that. They got some big, they got some big. Oh, in the lawsuit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, some legal experts are calling it the fattest lawsuit <laughs> they've ever seen. <laughs> They're <laughs> calling it quite possibly the fattest lawsuit mm -hmm. that the. I, I would I would say yeah. if the if this lawsuit decided to put together a, a football team yeah they they could take on the Dallas Cowboys yeah it's uh, if it goes to the Supreme Court they're gonna have to call it the Nachos Bell Supreme Court the <laughs> Nachos Bell Bell what is it yeah. Nachos Bell, Bell Grande no, no what's the Supreme one. The enchilada supreme. There's a supreme sub. The supreme just means with sour cream, right? Yeah. yeah. I want to go to Taco Bell for lunch. Yeah. I just thought about imagine, Taco Bell. Can you imagine when it gets to the top and then just like all, all of the women being like, ooh, the supreme court? <laughs> <laughs> Is it going to be Latin night? <laughs> Chips and salsa disco yeah, ball? They just pull a disco ball out of their pussy. <laughs> I'm, now I'm glad Lizzo told me to put that in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I have this disco ball that Lizzo forced to carry around in my pussy. Oh, from when we get a Latin night. We love Court. her. We love her, folks. We love her. Mm -hmm. And listen, we don't think your story is finished being written, Lizzo. Yeah. Okay? I heard I'm something. a live and let live Christian, I, I, and I believe in forgiveness. I brought this up, too. Somebody said it to me, and they said it to me like they were like bringing me hot gossip or whatever. But they said what? that somebody that they know worked with Oprah on something. And Oprah had gone to the bathroom and left, and they had to go in after Oprah, and Oprah left unwiped turds in the, the, the toilet. And I was like, that is such a disrespectful thing to go around saying. First of all, I doubt that happened. Wait, there was no toilet paper. That she just left shit in the toilet. And it's like, the amount of good Oprah has done, you know? I was in an elevator with her once. Yeah. And I was always like, this bitch, who cares? She's mm -hmm. just telling bitches to read books. Yeah. <laughs> And they just listen to her. But why are you going to take right? shots at Oprah like that? And, say, and I was in the elevator with her once, and she's amazing. Yeah. She makes, it's exciting to be standing by her. Mm -hmm. I understand. I understood immediately. I was like, whoa. She's like, she's incredible. Mm -hmm. Who the fuck said that to you? I can't remember, but I remember immediately just They need to like, shut their oh. fucking mouth up. Yeah, don't tell me that. That's fucked up. It's just exciting to be around her. Yeah. It's probably like what it was like to be around old uh, Slick Willie. You know, Caleb, what Caleb told me about his mom? That she fucked Bill Clinton? No. Uh, that she, she was a life... His, she shook his hand. Lifelong Republican, shook his hand one time, has voted Democrat the rest of her life. Yeah, you know, apparently he killed Sam Kinison because Sam Kinison and him fucked a 14-year-old girl together in Arkansas. Oh. And Sam Kinison was going to tell the world. Oh, we haven't talked about this Obama scandal. That he killed his chef? He killed his gay lover. And oh, he has okay. a Band-Aids and a black eye. Mm. And he drowned his gay chef lover in the pool. Oh, That's okay. what they're saying. Yeah. That's what... Uh, now that, I believe. You know, that is nice. To go back to, like, it's just a nice Obama try to cover up being gay, scant, like, mm. conservative internet I What I thing. always loved is that's that just, all, that's of, just, all of the old conservative... That feels old, cozy. All the old, like, uh, th that was, like, the beginning of, like, the wild accusations is the Obama stuff. 
Um, and I guess you could say some, some of the Clinton stuff is wild, but it is also like, you know, the Clinton murder list or whatever. Yeah. You have yeah. to be like, okay, how are all of these people dead? <laughs> you know, Bad luck. Like, I know, but it's like, and it's like, it should at least warrant joking about it. Yeah. You should at least be like, well, oh, come on. Come on. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the craziest one was like the fucking, the, 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 the most recent one I can, is the Loretta Lynch thing. Is like during the. She's dead? No. So when Comey was investigating the email thing during the yeah. last election, um, Comey had to recommend charges or not to the Department of Justice. And right before that happened, there was a meeting between, like, Bill Clinton intercept Loretta Lynch on a tarmac at an airport in oh, like, yeah. Alabama or something. And he's, like, whispering to her and, like, doing this or something. Uh -huh. And then fucking people were like, what the fuck is this? You know? And he was like, oh, we just talked about our grandchildren real quick. Yeah. Which, that doesn't make any sense. Okay. Like, what do you mean you just went up, like... I uh, have three grandchildren and you have two. You know, like what? Like it doesn't make it doesn't make. I don't know. We were Anyways, there. So then, and then of course the reporter that broke that story uh, killed himself. One day later? No, a year later he killed himself. Well, that's a year. I know, but still. He could have. Uh, I know. Fallen on hard times. I mean, it's very funny. <laughs> it's very funny. But what I'm saying, the Obama stuff. That's when it was like just like crazy. They're That's like, oh, why it's nice that he drowned he's, his love. He's actually a wizard. You know, it's like yeah, yeah. all right. His wife is has a penis. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Michelle Obama is actually Donkey Kong. Yeah. And like, I mean, it's just it's yeah, just yeah. wildly like you know the picture of him with a bone through his nose, which. The Hillary Clinton campaign, not the bone through the nose, but the turban one. The turban they, they one. Were, they were the ones that disseminated. They it. were. They were. The, they were uh, definitely yeah. their their fingerprints were all over the Obama's a Muslim thing. Yeah, but in um, fact, it's probably Hillary Clinton that's killing all these people around Obama, being like, "Well, let's see how he likes it. <laughs> let's see how he likes the accusations." Yes. and then Bill's like, "But Hillary, we are killing these people." Yeah. She's like, "Shut up, Bill." Yeah. Why don't you go get the more of the most trash pussy possible? <laughs> A, a Hill staffer. Yeah. A Capitol Hill intern. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, that was kind of... He got the opposite of Tiger, because Tiger was also getting fives. Yeah. And everyone was like, it's his, pers it's his private information. And yeah. then Tiger, the second he starts, like, f we find out he's getting sixes. But the Obama stuff, that's what I love, is all the gay sex accusations. The it's always gay sex with it's him. It's gay sex, but the setting is always like, oh, he was in a helicopter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's like, like, there's a helicopter pilot that's like, uh, we're looking at uh, 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 wind speed 15 knots. Uh, look at, we got that quarter yeah, tank of fuel he's left. He's in an Apache. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what's, your, what's your ETA for arrival before refuel? Uh, uh, echo that, uh, command base. Uh, we'll check back in with you in a second. Let me... Let me see if the the uh, package has uh, assessed the duration of his mission. Uh, one second, uh, over. Uh, excuse me, Mr. President, are you done having gay sex in the back you know, of the helicopter? In a helicopter. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be about another five minutes before I finish sucking this guy off. Uh, yeah. Uh, Eagle has confirmed five minute uh, countdown until. <laughs> He swallows cum, <laughs> and we can land the helicopter at, at, on the south lawn. <laughs> time to have time to have discreet gay sex to blow off some steam from signing bills all day long. And now the best way to do it: uh, go up into a fucking hot air balloon above Times Square and and fuck a bunch of guys in the yeah. Hindenburg. Yeah. That's airships, yeah. Airships. If he if he brought back air, airships, uh, we would have known that. Yeah, the no, the first guy. I forget the guy's name. Like Gary Sinclair, I think maybe his name was. Yeah, have you seen that guy? That's like Larry Sinclair. That gives those interviews where he's like, "I had sex with Obama." That's him. Yeah, that's, that guy. Yeah, Larry yeah, yeah. Sinclair. Yeah, yeah. He wrote like an Amazon self-published book. About yeah. It. 
He was like, and then I sucked his cock in the back of a limousine. <laughs> and then I sucked his cock, and then, yeah. yeah, and then he, I think, I saw an interview with him and Dinesh D'Souza, mm. where he's like, um, See, that's the thing, I think Target should have a separate Pride Month for just that type of gay. <laughs> <laughs> there should be, like, clothes the, for like, third Gay graders. liars. Gay, yeah, just the psychotic gay liars. Psychotic gay liars. Yeah. <laughs> he's great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I fucked George Lucas. So like a third grader's shirt. <laughs> just Chewbacca being like, what? I guess I'll vote Republican. <laughs> I, guess I'll be, I guess I'll vote for the fucking guy that wants to put people like me in jail. <laughs> it's nice to have a quaint Obama. It's also like, does that scandal. work? Does they, in their mind, does that work? Do they yeah. think that there's like somebody? I was going to vote for him. Somebody that's a registered Democrat. And then I found <laughs> out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then I, I, you know, I like what Obama had to say about the economy. But he did suck <laughs> that Saudi royal's cock in a helicopter in a for helicopter. crack money. Yeah, <laughs> so, that was the other thing that he was doing it for drugs. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. that he had. He was like a. He was a street mm. hoe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was a common crack mm -hmm. whore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so personally, I just I don't know if I can support that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, drugs, doing it for drugs. If he was gay and just exercising his gay fantasies, that's one thing, but. Yeah. Doing it to fuel a drug habit? Yeah, if he was like fucking holding hands with some guy in Better Home and Gardens magazine, it's like, <laughs> like all right, he's just gay. But they're, they're trying to make him out like he's party mom. <laughs> he's at Studio 54. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was wearing a big pair of wings and he murdered some guy with a hammer. <clears throat> oh, when's the last time you watched that movie? <coughs> I don't know, like 15 years ago. I tried watching, oh no. Damn, Marcus. I really gotta stop vaping. It's gross. And hopefully I can soon with the new, we did pick up a new sponsor. And There's a new sponsor, and it's some, not, but it's not yeah, a but vape. this isn't the read, so it doesn't matter. They're, yeah. not even, they're not even gonna hear this, but yeah. It's not a vape. It's just flavored air. It's a great product. Yeah. That is, a, it's gonna be great. We'll save it. We'll talk about it next yeah. week when we have. And you don't get, yeah. We need to. We need to make sure we nail it because Freeze Pipes was not happy about it. They were like they were disrespecting the product by turning the packaging into a Batman mask. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry we don't. Sorry you I, take. Are, this weed. <laughs> this fucking. This weed company is going to be the laughing stock of the <laughs> internet now. Jesus okay. Christ, man! We can't win. We gave them 20 minutes. You can't win. I'll tell you the only way to win in this world. This would be a guy named Hunter Biden. That's goddamn true. Mm-hmm. That guy's never lost. Why do they call it a sweetheart deal? Like the prosecutor's like, he's like going to oh, love his will lane? you go on a date with me? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> they're going in there. Yeah. They're going do in you there. like me? Yes or no? <laughs> like, it's oh, Valentine's I'm, I'm gonna Day. Read you, I'm going to read your notebook to you. Yeah, <laughs> sweetheart is just such a weird Yeah, like Hunter adjective. Biden's wearing a poodle dress. Uh, yeah, yeah, right, exactly. They're going to a sock can I, Yeah, can I take you to the box social? <laughs> After our sweetheart deal? Right. I'm, uh, they, I'm uh, taking uh, Hunter Biden out to Lookout Landing to kiss his pussy and ankles. <laughs> I just spilled coffee all over myself. Yeah, that's all right. That's fine. This coffee is sponsored by McDonald's. The, we, the coffee is sponsored by McDonald's? Yeah. The, this coffee is brought to you by McDonald's. Brought to you by McDonald's. I, was, I, I, I am like, I literally just watched 600 Pound Life over and over again. Like I just watched, oh. it's the only thing on television. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I was watching a, a woman eat McDonald's hash browns. Or maybe it was a big fella, because they always have the enabler. How many do they the have? The enabler was like, uh, I'm going with McDonald's, what do you want? It was his sister's husband. And he's like, uh, let me get uh, six cheeseburgers and nine hash browns. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. You know, and then he comes back with you know, that amount of food for this guy. But yeah, a McDonald's hash brown, classic road trip meal. It is really good. It reminds me of my, my uncle. 
I had one this morning. Yeah. Along with my Mick Cafe. Yeah. McDonald's hash brown is good stuff. Simple pleasures in life. It was a beautiful day outside. It still is. I woke hopefully. up. I woke up to bad news. I was pretty upset. And then I went outside and I Sorry said, you know what? That, man. Yeah, it's okay. It's been a bad week. Yeah. It has been a bad week. But tomorrow, we have a huge guest coming in. So. Yeah, but the next episode of the Adam Freeland Show will be out imminently. I'm going to be working all weekend on it. So. There, well, there's the interview, but we've got to shoot this other stuff, and, and yeah. that's going to be a, that a struggle. And then the one after that, that's going to be the biggest one. You think there's any way that we could talk after? What? That we could just make use of the crew tomorrow? That we have coming in for the interview? Possibly. We'll talk about it after. Budgetary... Budget-wise, it's a yeah, but shrewd that's move. the thing where it's like I don't mind spending the money if it's like we do the thing if right. It's done right. Whatever. This entire show is just an in, like an investment, which yeah. is which is fine. We we had zero overhead for six years. Yeah, it's like I, I would this rather is, I would rather I'd rather get to a point in my life where I look back and I say like okay, well, yeah, maybe that was like a failure financially or whatever but i did you know we did we took the swing yeah Can you imagine how much it would suck if we had just tried to continue doing calm town yeah we would have felt that would have been really terrible yeah just doing stand up and doing the same podcast and yeah anyways yeah, yeah. anyway <sighs> what are you going to do we're very lucky but your brain is still your brain. You can never escape that. That's true. And there's always going to be. But guess what, guys? Hiccups. We have a lot to be. We have a lot to be yeah. thankful for. No, I just want to get these episodes out. I have. I, when you said that 600 pound life, if we were come down, you know what I said? What? You're talking about the uh, Lizzo trial? Oh, yeah. yeah. Why wouldn't you just say that now? Well, I'll say it now. What do you think uh, 600 Pound Life could be a good life insurance company? Huh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually insured by 600 Pound Life. Oh, I'm with Matt Rife. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, I have Matt, Matt Rife. Matt Rife. Yeah, I have Matt Rife. I have Matt Rife myself. <laughs> In case anything happens to me. <laughs> My family feels safe knowing mm. I have Matt Rife. When I signed up for Matt Rife health insurance, I knew my family would be okay. <laughs> Matt Rife. In an unlikely event that my untimely passing, my family would have to worry about funeral costs <laughs> or medical bills. But I have Matt Rife. But I have Matt Rife <laughs> insurance. For the cost is as little as a cup of coffee a day. Mm -hmm. For the price of one side order dumplings, number, <laughs> number 22 special. So you can protect your family with Matt Rife Half Insurance. <laughs> oh. Dragon Lucky Dumpery. <sighs> the sushi restaurants are getting crazy. You want to talk about inflation? Take a, at, take a look at the prices of the special rolls at a sushi restaurant. They're like 18 to the 20. Dra like dragon fucker roll. Yeah. And it's just a shrimp tempura roll with yeah. avocado in it. Dragon's That's pussy. all it is. That's all it ever is. The special yeah. roll is always, the, oh, we added shrimp tempura to another and we, roll. And we draped an avocado, sliced avocado on top. And yeah. And, and, and then, then we put Godzilla sauce on it. Yeah, yeah. right. Like, yeah, which is just reduced Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, terrible. Yeah, it Go sucks. with the classics. Yeah. Good old classic sushi. Nice little tuna avocado, nice little salmon, so spi salmon avocado, spicy tuna. Mm -hmm. Come on, don't fuck around, guys. Yeah, I gotta see a dentist, too. I think I have to go to a... We have a dentist down the block. I think I gotta go to an oral surgeon. I have to get my wisdom teeth out I'm still. i get this tooth pulled. Really? Yeah, the gum has been receding for like 10 years now. So you're gonna be missing a tooth? I don't know. I don't know if I have to get, like, uh, I might be able to. Last time I went there, and this was three years ago, they were like, yeah, if it gets worse, then you can go see an oral surgeon, and they'll just, like, stitch the gum back together. But um, I was like, Sounds well, can you give me a referral? They're like, it's not really at that point yet. I'm like, well, it looks like it's at my jawbone, so I don't know. Yeah. There's a dentist a block away. All right. I went to that, those people. That's like a, 
They have like a bunch of offices around New York. Oh, that's like that with that like uh, r like r uh, what do you call it? Like a uh, reductive. Uh, it's like dental, but it's like D N T L. No, it's a. Uh, what's it called? Tend. Tend. Yeah. I don't know. I'll just. I'll and do they what give I, you. They I'll give do what you, I always did in the past. Go to them Groupon and find like a fifty dollar cleaning and. They give you headphones and uh, they have a TV on the ceiling. You yeah. you Your teeth are looking in good shape. Yeah. Yeah. They're all right. Mine are fucked up. I, I haven't been in a while. But I have to get my, whatever. Yeah, but they have a, there's a place a block away and they have a, uh, you can just watch Seinfeld and get your teeth cleaned. It's kind of nice. Right on. Yeah. And, and uh, if you pay $100, they'll gas you. Gas you up. Yeah. You have to tell them that you need it. I never get to gas. I've gotten it. It's pretty cool. Oh boy. It's pretty cool. I feel like I'm at a dead show, you know? Why? I feel like I'm down on Shakedown Street having a little yeah. ice cold fatty, you know? What else is going on? I thought maybe we'd get more out of this Lizzo thing. <sighs> you know? It's kind of just funny at face value. It's a headline. Yeah. Oh, Trump's indicted. Like, well, is it in there already? Leprosy is now endemic in Central Florida. What is endemic? means it's like uh, just it's, there it, permanently. But it's not a pandemic? No, that means it's everywhere. It's like pansexual? This one's cool. A property owner returns home and finds a new $1.5 million house on his land. How is that? Wait, it returns home? Like he missed it? Uh, no, somebody just uh, went to this guy's property and started building a house there for themselves. And then he found out that it was on his land? Yeah. So he just gets to keep the house? Uh, I feel bad for this Lizzo lady. But people are really happy that It seems on Twitter that like um, bl black guys are really happy about Lizzo getting canceled. Are is are they? Yeah. This is, I mean, this house is boring. It's just it's pretty boring. Mu a municipal error. It seems like uh, there are a lot of memes with uh, guys guys uh, you know putting up like Kobe with a championship trophy and stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it is very funny. If, if, if uh, the culmination... But it's like they've been waiting for It this. starts with Lizzo, and then in five years, it's just going to be, like, fucking the, the head of CBS being like, this beautiful young actress raped me. <laughs> that's, that's how... That's what we have to do to get the movies good again. Uh, yeah, right. Okay? We found out, guys, yeah. that we got rid of the pervs and the freaks, yeah. and they were making the best movies. Yeah, yeah. Okay? So they need they need to play yeah. a little bit doing they, the doing the a Uno, little bit of defense Uno, Uno reverse on mm -hmm. the Me Too. Mm -hmm. I mean, how funny it would be if that. I mean, that happened. Said. That happened with the that lady. Uh, what's her name? The Italian lady that was dating Anthony Bourdain, but um, she was like a huge Weinstein accuser. She was like one of the head Weinstein accusers, and then this it turns out she uh, a lot of vagina. I think a lot of vagina, yeah. And then it turns out she uh, had like an affair with like a sixteen-year-old boy. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> that was a what was her name? Age Argento. Yeah. No, they got that YouTube lady. <laughs> oh yeah, that Miranda is. sings. Yeah, my sister texted me. She's like, "You have to be very careful." And I was like, "Why?" She's like, "Miranda sings got in trouble, and like you guys could get in trouble for anything." I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? We're not texting 16-year-old <laughs> boys or girls. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> what is she talking about? Yeah. I thought she said racist things about black people. No, she was texting kids? Maybe, but we do that shit, but that's the product. <laughs> that's what they, you know. My sister is like, yeah, you just have to be very careful because there are people that will come cancel, through everything. You can't cancel Exxon for selling but, gas. My, but, <laughs> But oh, they're, this, they're selling fucking petroleum products. Yeah. Those cause cancer. We're destroying the planet. We're a vape juice company. Mm-hmm. We're trying to sell poison. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, Miranda Sings got uh, got in trouble, and then I saw five seconds of what her live show is, and it's her just uh, basically IRL scrolling. It's her rapidly going through all of the characters that she does, and I'm like, that looks fucking exhausting. It looks like hell. Yeah, that looks truly terrible. Oh, my God. In, a, in certain ways, I feel bad for the, the people. And I guess we kind of, like, we're podcasters, so we're kind of like this weird, like we're like the modern-day equivalent of old radio guys, you know? Okay. No, Adam texts us. Oh, okay. Thanks for letting us know. What? Potential big old get is in New York City. Another? Yeah. Wow, then there'll be five episodes in the can that we have out. And then that, no, that'll be like our release schedule till the fall almost. Yeah, we might be able to get our whole fall lineup. Yeah, yeah. If we can, if we can just uh, bang these out and drop... You know, one of these these bigger ones every two weeks. You yeah. know, try and pick it up, pick up the pace. I will I will reach out to that person after the show. It is kind of my hope that this. Uh, I mean, not my hope. It would suck. But if this special fails, yeah, and then I can't do the road, then I would have to. I'd be forced to just work on this full time. Yeah. Why not? The show would be better. I mean, would you have a lot more time? I have a lot more seven time. days. I mean, well, I can actually, I can say it on the show. Why not? Why can't I say it on the show? Guess who's in New York City? James Bond. Lizzo. Like, pretty close to James Bond. Okay, let me think. He's got a great body. He's tall. Handsome. He knows a lot about politics. RFK Jr.? No. Uh, Barack Obama? No, it's more exciting than that. It's better than Barack Obama. It's not just Chris Cuomo again. He's a popular internet fixture. Oh, how does Ginsburg know about that? I don't know. He just texted me. Hassan is in New York. Oh, so, okay. guys, Hassan Piker will well, be coming on the Adam Friedman show let's this let's weekend. Put it this way, Hassan has come to New York to do the Adam Friedman. <laughs> Hassan show. has come to New York to do the Adam Friedman show. So, if uh, yeah, Hassan has, has has been playing the strip for months, there is no way the guys. Yeah. <laughs> there has been a, we've had a little cat and mouse, but he's been he's been flirting. Mm -hmm. And uh, guys, he's out there right now somewhere. Yeah. Looking for the show, we'll text him. We'll let we'll him know where the him. studio is. Hassan has finally made the trip that he's he's been saving up for months. He said he didn't have. He said it was the tickets were expensive. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, so yeah, hard yeah. to get a hotel. A lot of people says. go after Hassan. They say he has all this money, but they don't understand that if you're a Twitch streamer, you're legally required to spend two point eight million dollars a year on Funko Pops. Yeah. So on it, toys. Yeah, <laughs> on toys. Yeah. <laughs> so he has, he's, he's he'd love to be doing the show, but he's been too busy building a, a fucking uh, H zero replica of uh, the Slave One, Boba Fett's ship. Yeah, which is necessary to be a Twitch streamer is to buy a, a, a quarter million dollar model replica of Iser, I, Oscar Isaac's penis. Yeah. Uh, as, so he could, as seen in the deleted scenes from. So you can make a video movie. that says uh, all caps. I bought Oscar Isaac's penis. He's like, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. That's what YouTube is, basically. So yes. Shout out to all the new games coming to Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Plus, we talk about. Uh, 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 factory. That Will is there be bananas? And, yeah. Right. Yeah. It is very weird. Anyway, so Hassan, thank you for coming to New York. Hassan, and thanks. guys, if you are listening to this, um, just let him know that you appreciate him for coming to New York to come on to do the Adam to Freeland do show. the Adam Freeland show. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well that'll probably wrap it up again. I'm in Chicago this weekend, and if you're in Boston, the Wilbur Theater towards the end of September. And uh, folks, Washington D.C. You can go to mall.dog slash live dash shows. In Washington, D.C. on August 24th to the 26th, I will be there. And Nick and I will both be at Town Hall, November 8th, 2023. Let's sell that cocksucker out. It's a big-ass theater. It's going to be fun. Co-headlining. We'd love to see you come out. We'd love to see you. Folks, we love you. Thanks for coming. Thanks, guys. Bye. I'm going to DM them. I'm going to do it. Dude, we heard you were in New York uh. to do the Adam Friedland show.